Hey, what's going on everybody? I got another video here today, another battery video, another battery charger video. It's been a while since you guys have seen the Tesla Model S modules that I have. Uh, I've been using them for some things. Anyways, uh, I've got one out here today. I've also got one of my Solar Jenny C600B lithium Tesla Powerwall battery chargers up here we're going to be talking about. Of course, I got my handy dandy voltmeter. We're going to run through some tests. We're going to show you how our charger works on this battery pack here as it does with the many other battery packs. All right, man, so anyways, in front of me, I've got the Tesla Model S module, or one battery module. It's a 25.2 volt 6S lithium battery module or battery pack or miniature power wall, if you will. And these are what people are using commonly in a lot of their, their uh, DIY power walls. You get it, it's a 24 volt system basically, connect it to an inverter and you're good to go, kind of. It'll run most inverters. Unfortunately, inverter chargers that you would use this uh, battery pack for won't run uh, voltage and amperage back to charge the battery at the proper voltages. It's pretty close, but it's not quite there. So, um, for instance, a 24 volt um, inverter charger is generally gonna produce more voltage then this can handle. It's going to be up at the 28, 29 range and above, where this is only good for 25.2 volts. So we're going to be talking about our little solar Jenny charger to charge us with an as an AC charger for off the grid, or if you're you know just got a, a portable solar generator or something, and just another way to charge this battery pack uh, very simply and very easily. And then also we're going to shoot a video of our new solar Jenny 6KW low frequency inverter that has been designed for this exact module at 25.2 volts of uh, charge voltage. So if you're grid tied or even if you're off the grid and you're running a generator into that inverter, either way, you're gonna be putting out 25.2 volts back into this battery where there's really nobody on the market that has an inverter that's doing that currently that I'm aware of other than myself and a couple of other people worldwide. So. Uh, and those couple of other people worldwide were probably getting the inverters from the same company and having them made for ourselves. We're just doing private labeling on them and that's why we call them solar jetting. Anyways, that being said, you know, we've covered the voltage on the battery. I've showed you guys these, I've showed you guys these batteries before and uh, we're just gonna go through a couple of quick things on these. Simply 25.2 volts, 6S uh, battery pack, all 18650 cells, uh, I've got a set of uh, miniature jumper cables connected to the battery, a positive and a negative. Uh, I've got my balance meter up here and my balance uh, tester on this, uh, showing me that all my cells are good and where they're sitting at as far as charge goes. Um, let's go ahead and throw a voltmeter on here and see where we're sitting for voltage right now. And it looks like we are sitting at 23.6 volts on the pack. And then Let's go over here and test the voltage coming out of the Solar Jenny C600B. And we should be about 25, 25.1 volts coming out of there. And as promised, 25 volts, as you can see on the camera. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply connect a set of alligator clips to this uh, little mini Anderson connector right here. And then we're going to jump those alligator clips, so these little miniature jumper cables that I've got right here to these jumper cables because these little alligator clips are just for testing purposes and they're not gonna clip onto the bolts that are the studs that are in the battery. Now for those of you who are gonna make some comments as you guys always do about hey those are pretty small cheesy battery cables those are unsafe those aren't gonna work oh my god the house is gonna blow up and the sky is falling don't waste your time it's pointless this is a test guys we're just simply doing a test so for those of you guys that like to see these tests you understand this part anyways Moving on, uh, we've got a little uh, battery tester right here. This is a, uh, a simple uh, series battery tester, an 8S uh, battery tester. This is 6S, so we're just gonna plug it in. What this is gonna do is it's gonna light up, it's gonna beep, and then it's gonna tell us all of our battery cells that we have one through six and how much voltage is, is in each cell and if they're balanced or not. So let's just plug this in real quick. If I can get it on the first try, I'll be happy. There we go and then it's gonna run through everything. And we'll let that go all the way through all six cells. It's number two, 
3.93 volts. Number three is at 3.94 volts. Four is at 3.94 volts. Five is at 3.93. Six is at 3.95. All of them tested out good. We got 23.6 volts on the battery as we just tested with my meter. So we're, we're, we're right on. Um, so this battery is a little low. And, you know, let's just bring it up to a full charge. Now, we're not going to do the whole time-lapse full charge thing because this is going to take a long time. Well, not that long because we're going to actually hit it with 18 amps of current at 25.2 volts, or in this case, 25 to 25.1 volts. As you guys know, I always keep my battery chargers one-tenth of a volt under max capacity. So we're just going to simply connect this stuff up, let you guys see it work. And give you an idea how this is all uh, uh, running. So, anyways, over here we've got the Solar Jenny C600B at um, 25.1 volts. This is putting out 18 amps of power. Now it says it's all on the front. We'll put up some B-roll for you guys to see that. Um, and it's a simple, straightforward, positive-negative connection like all of our other battery chargers. It's not going to run a series or a balance. It's just straight bulk charging. So, with that being said. And without any further ado, let's hook it up and see what we can do. So we've got our little pigtail uh, jumper cable here with a little mini mini Anderson connector on it. We'll just slide that in. Make sure we're not touching down there on the bottom. Because those are live at this point. And we are coming off the battery now. I'm just going to do a quick voltage test on these. To see where I'm at. See what's coming off there. We got 25 volts coming out of the charger straight up at 18 amps. Now these chargers do have a trickle charger built into them, so they will they will fade off and they won't throw 18 amps in it all the way to full charge. But um, that gives you kind of an idea. Now, when charging your batteries, um, something you should know about or something you should be doing is testing, retesting, and over testing, especially when you're working with lithium batteries because they are so volatile and they are so explosive. So for just one last quick test, we're gonna make sure that we have our polarity correct on here. And by doing so, we just put our voltmeter up on our terminals. And as long as we have straight voltage without a negative sign on the meter, as we do now, it just says 23.6 volts, then we know our polarity is correct. Red is positive, black is negative, and we're good to go. So we're going to take our positive lead, simply just clip it down here, I can actually, I got a bare wire here, so I can just grab that right there. So I'm now connected on my positive, and then I'll take my negative lead and do the exact same thing, and just hit it up here on the negative. We are now connected, our fan is kicked on, our light goes from green to red, and we're good. Now these little wires are small, and they're not rated for 18 amps, it's just some 14 gauge wire. So I don't know how long I'll leave this sit up here running, but I'll just keep checking it and, you know, checking it for heat and whatnot. Make sure it doesn't get hot. It's already starting to get warm, so it's definitely throwing 18 amps at it. Let's do a quick uh, voltage test, see what we got. We were at 23.6 a second ago, and we're at 23.8 and climbing. Now, Our battery charger is going to charge up to 25, 25.1 volts and then just shut down. So no need for a BMS on this system. Now it's always nice to have a BMS or some sort of a safety built in. Of course these Tesla modules have their own safeties built in with all of the, um, the fusing between each battery. So we're covered there. Um, but you know we just want to make sure that we're not throwing too much voltage or too much amperage and 18 amps at this battery is nothing. So we've got... Um, a 6S, and I can't remember off the top of my head the parallel series on this, and, and you know, it's not that important, but we're talking, I think there's like 400 and some batteries in this actual module, so, you know, 100 and some of those, 180 some, or whatever the numbers, I don't remember, in parallel, um, allows us to throw 18 amps at them easily. Uh, most of these are, are low, these are low amperage batteries anyway, these are not like our Samsung 25Rs or the Sony VTC5s or anything. But they can handle three to five amps, um, no problem. But, well, that's discharge. Nonetheless, in the parallel that they are, they can handle 18 amps all day long. It's just a matter of can my little wires here that I'm using handle um, 
18 amps. I'm pretty warm right here at the connection, so um, I'm just going to keep a close eye on that. So anyways, our charger is going to sit there and charge. That red light is going to be on. And when this red light starts to flash and it goes to a green light or a flashing green light, then that's letting you know that you're almost fully charged. And once it's fully charged, that light's going to go green. That fan's going to stop as game over. You've got a fully charged battery. Now, I had a different set of jumpers for this video. We would have uh, went ahead and let this charge and we would have time lapsed this and seen how long it took to get us a full charge from that 23.6 volts all the way up to the 25, uh, 25 one volts. Uh, let's throw a meter on here and see if anything's changed over the last few minutes I've been talking. And we're still at 23.8. So there's a lot of batteries to charge in there. So what I'm going to do after all these series of videos on these chargers that I've been doing on these different battery packs, the lithium 3S, 4S, the life PO 4S and stuff, we're going to actually do some um, hardcore uh, bench testing. We're going to drain these things all the way down and then we're going to use our different chargers from the S120, the C600, the C600B, the C1000 and up to this S2500 and see how long it takes to charge each of these uh, different packs and cells with those individual different chargers and those different chemistries. But other than that, that's pretty much a slam dunk. Detailed tutorial on that charger and this battery module. And there's really not much left to say on it other than these are incredible battery chargers. They're safe. They have built-in protections. You can find them over at my website at westattechguy.com or over at solarjenny.com, one and the same. We have all different model sizes and ranges, and uh, we have we have these going all the way up to 63 volts for the uh, 15S Tesla Smart for Two battery modules. So if you've got one of those modules out there or any other combination of battery power walls that you need another source to charge other than solar or wind, like say in the evening, all right, if you're doing some AC coupling or something, then these are the chargers for you. Or if you've got an electric bike, or if you've got an EV or an electric vehicle, these are the chargers for you. They're great chargers, they're straightforward, they're plain and simple. I like to call them dummy style. Positive, negative, hook them up, you're done. Don't have to worry about having a BMS uh, because they're gonna automatically shut themselves off. Anyways, that being said, if you guys got any comments, questions, concerns, answers, suggestions, please put them in the comment section down below as always. Uh, like, subscribe, and share to my video. And we're going to do a giveaway on one of these chargers to somebody, and we're not going to tell you which charger it is. We're going to let you decide which charger it's going to be. So we're going to give away an S120. Uh, it doesn't matter what configuration that you're going to be in, whether it's going to be an, uh, a 3S, a 4S, uh, 6S, 7S, 13S, 15S lithium, or it's a 4, 8, 12, or 16S Life PO4. You choose what you need for your needs if you're the lucky winner, and we're going to send you one of these uh, Solar Jenny S120 uh, battery chargers. Anyways, guys, until next time, man, I always appreciate you guys coming over and watching. I love to do these videos for you. You guys have been kicking butt with us. You've brought us way up on our subscriber count. You guys are being... Um, uh, active, you're, you're commenting on the page, you're sharing. I appreciate it to the fullest extent of my heart. I'll see you on the next one.